everyone, I'm Andy here, <laughs> behind all these journals. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I want to talk to you about the term junk journal. What does junk journal mean? And are we mislabeling our journals? And does it matter? So, traditionally, junk journals are made from 100% junk out of the bin, you know, your recycled packaging, your um, envelopes that have been used, genuine, 100% junk and nothing else. If you come up against a purist junk journaler and you try and call your journal a junk journal, believe you and me, <laughs> they will correct you. So I've got a selection of journals here and I'm going to give you some examples. So here... This is what I believe to be a true junk journal, okay? Now, some, again, purists will disagree with me because a purist junk journaler wouldn't even use scrapbooking paper or um, anything like that. They will only use things that they haven't purchased, uh, you know, that are recycled packaging, junk mail, things like that, okay? I think that's very extreme and it's very hard to do. It's very hard to get junk mail and make it coordinate in a way that's easy to put a journal together. Now, if you're very artistic and you can paint and you can draw, you can create just about anything. But, you know, not everybody is artistically minded. I certainly am not a drawer or a painter. I struggle. Um, and so the concept of a pure junk journal to me is, is I wouldn't be able to, I personally would not be able to do it, okay? I think it is a, a very skilled thing, <laughs> we'll say. I can't do them. I've tried and it's just not for me. It, it's also very limiting. So this is what I consider to be the closest thing to a junk journal as I've got evidence of. And this was sent to me by a lovely lady. And this has been made purely out of, I think she's used packaging um, for the cover. And we've got scrapbooking paper. Um, she has used scrapbooking paper. But I can tell that this lady hasn't used any digitals. Here are book pages. Um, but there's no digitals in this um, journal. Okay, so she's made everything up. Envelopes here. She's uh, she done some stamping. I don't think, I'm not sure. Book pages. Okay, she's added some lace. Yes, we've got stamping. Um, this feels like, I don't know if that's scrapbooking paper. I think it is with it with a lovely um, glittery sticker. And we've got um, handmade paper there. I can tell it's handmade by the texture of it. You know, lace, leftovers made into snippets. So this is what I consider to be your typical junk journal she's made just about everything herself there's no digitals here um and this is actually quite difficult to do in a really good way and this one's lovely because it's interesting um but you've also got to bear in mind that when you're making a junk journal if you want it in a theme like this is obviously florals and or nature you know all of your junk that you find has got to you know you want it to match um, and so it can be a very difficult task. Okay. So the next one that I'm going to show you are, is what I call a mixture between a junk journal and there are the odd digitals in here. But it's still very much in the theme of a junk journal. And I've got another one here as well, which is from Purple Popper. So this was sent to me by Pam all the way from Australia. Are you in Australia or New Zealand? I think she's Australia. So here we've got a, she's made it out obviously out of the little golden books. It's absolutely stunning. I love looking at it every time. But we've got scrapbooking paper. I think that is a digital. Um, you know, and she's used some cards and um, scrapbooking paper and lace. And then she's reused the pages from the book as well. I know that's a digital and I know that's a digital because I think that's one of mine. <laughs> So here we've got a mix, but it's still very much in a junk journal kind of theme to me. So I call this junkish. 
okay and that is going to be the term that i use for my journals from when i do them in a junky style i'm going to call them junk ish okay i'm going to show you purple poppies hers is the same i mean this is just a delight it's absolutely beautiful you're never going to get a journal the same because she's not used a full digital collection she's put everything together herself and just got loads and loads of christmas themed supplies and it's just beautiful and it's colourful and it's tactile and it's very, very well made. Very well made. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Can't bear to write in it, but it sits beautifully on my shelf. And that is a really beautiful one. I'm going to show you one from Purple Poppy. Purple Poppy is on YouTube. I will leave a link to her channel. And she makes what I call junkish journals. So they're not pure junk. They're in a junk style, which means to me, you know, like we've got here it's clearly a tatty vintage kind of feel and when i say tatty i just mean you know different textures not cut perfect a little bit skew with uh, you know and tatty in a good way okay and this is a beautiful journal and i actually bought this from purple popper it's absolutely stunning but she has also used some digitals but the style to me is very much a junk ish we've got different you know this is packaging paper probably Amazon or something similar. She's done this lovely ruffle with leftovers of scraps of fabric and lace. We've got some book page here that I think she's stamped on. Um, things that she's coffee dyed, this looks original. But you know, these do look like digitals. So she's obviously used some digital items in here. It's absolutely lovely. I really love this journal. Again, I can't bear to write in it. Here she's done a bird, she's actually stuck some actual feathers on there. This looks like she's done some kind of um watercolor effect on herself um so there's lots of like artwork and individual kind of touches to it yeah so to me this is a, I, I mean i call it a junk journal but i'll be stood corrected so i'm calling it junkish okay and that's a term we're going to use <laughs> and then the junk journal purists can't come for us i'm not i'm not criticizing the purists they're all lovely but you know you can't tell a junk journaler that this is a junk journal because there's digitals in it. <laughs> um, but there's nothing wrong with um, sticking to your principles and things like that. I'm not. I'm absolutely not criticising anybody. I just want to clear up, and that's a fabric one. So she's printed that on fabric. That's gorgeous. I just want to clear up the different kinds of it's just beautiful, different kinds of journals, um, so that we're not getting confused okay and to help clarify for my followers and my um coffee members as well now i've done a flip through of my may book lovers journal and now i call this junkish okay not used an awful lot of junk but i've created m most of the things myself i've done mixed media it's in a tatty kind of a kind of a way although i'm quite a clean and simple lines girl i like things to be clean and simple and i like i like some some straight edges but you know and i've used bits of this and bits of that and to me this is a junk ish even though there's no actual junk in it so junk ish to me is a junker tatty style and I will stand by that forever and 10 days. Now, this is the other style of journal that I make. And I call these clean and simple journals. Okay. Clean and simple. And these are inspired very much by folios. And they're a mixture between a journal and a folio. With a more sturdier cover. More defined shape. And like this one, for example, has got folio elements in it. So you've got your cutting and your measuring that you wouldn't have in something like this that um, Claire's made. You know, there's no measuring, everything's done by eye. A lot of things are just ripped up, you know, and to me that is the that is the essence of junkish, okay? Whereas I like clean and simple. That's just me, I love it. Um, I don't mind doing a bit of measuring, and that's why I like the folios. And I really do not feel any shame in using beautiful digitals to make my journals so these are clean and simple journals this one is a junkish journal this is a junkish journal claire's is a junkish journal Mo probably going more towards junk to be honest whereas this one here that was sent to me by sheila is a pure junk journal 
because there's no digitals in it. It's made purely from leftovers, from books and scrapbooking and everything's been made completely and utterly herself. So I just thought I'd come and share the differences between those journals. Obviously, there's all kinds of different styles of journal. Um, and I, I do like the structured elements in my journal. I'm a little bit, yeah, I like, I like mini albums and folios. This one is absolutely clean and simple. We've got bright coloured pages and there's no ripped edges in this page, in this journal, none. It's clean and simple lines. Um, it's just lovely, uh, you know. And in comparison to this one with the, you know, I've got ripped pages and, and straight pages. So it all just depends on how you feel. But what I would say is, Junkish is definitely a thing. <laughs> Clean and simple. Junkish. That's junkish. This one's going more towards junk because, you know, it's so random and, and tatty and, and unstructured. Um, and then this one is, uh, in my opinion, uh, totally a junk journal because uh, there's zero digitals in that. It's all made from bits and bobs that um, she's collected together to make it. So I hope that helps. I hope it doesn't upset anybody. <laughs> Junk General Purist, I absolutely love you. No hate towards anybody. Um, I just think that these terminologies can, um, what's the word? Not isolate, they can um, exclude people from trying and having a go because they they worried that you know well how can i make a journal out of a uh, junk mail i'm not artistic i can't draw so you can do a happy medium between your digitals and your scrapbooking paper and your junk and that is junkish and that's a happy medium that just about anybody can do and then we've got clean and simple a little bit like me <laughs> And this is even more straightforward to do. And they're a joy to make because it's almost like making a mini album. There's a little bit more structure to it and a little bit more simplicity to them. But either way, whichever style you like, it doesn't matter. It's something that you've made and they're going to bring you hours of joy. What do we do with them? We collect them because we love them. I will never write in these. Never. Okay, these have been gifted, this one I've bought. They're just going to sit on my bookshelf and look pretty. Okay, but the purpose of my clean and simple ones is to write in them. Okay, they're clean and simple because you can write in them. These are more decorative. I wouldn't want to write in them. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing. So I hope that helps. I hope my waffle kind of helps clarify the difference between the different kinds of journals. There, there's so many different interpretations and different ways of doing things. The main thing is not to get too wrapped up on it and not to think that you have to create everything from packaging and things out of the bin for it to be a decent journal um, or a decent junk journal. If you're worried, call it junkish. <laughs> junkish, definitely a thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.